War has come to Middle Earth. This is the work of Sauron. Hello. Hi, ben, how are you Hello. today? Good, good, good. I love the the X-Men in the back. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so my first question for you both was just, what was it like returning back to set for season two? Whew. I mean, for me, I haven't done a second season of anything. I usually do like movies or miniseries or things of that kind of length. So coming back, having the opportunity to... Uh, re-enter a story and go back into the depth of it um, was very special. And as I've been, you know, talking about um, just as we went on hiatus and kept living our lives between then and now, our characters essentially continue living in Middle Earth. So coming back, you essentially have to sit down with them and have them tell you where that what they've been up to and so it's it's a complete different challenge it's a wonderful wonderful challenge and you i realize how much affection um i actually have for out on there as a being so it's been great yeah it's i mean it's great to return to middle earth like uh, it uh it's a privilege to do it once and the fact that they're having us back is it's great for sure. And I also was wondering, your characters go through like a lot of many things, but despair and grief from, you know, the first season into now. So what was it like tapping into that specifically for season two? I mean, for the king specifically, you know, we find him abandoning his life's work, basically. You know, they've sacrificed so much to stay and protect Middle Earth. And in spite of that, in spite of their efforts, they're going to have to save what's left of them. Um, so that's why the rings are so vital. And for me, I think, you know, it's evident the grief that he's experiencing. It, it just deepens these questions that he has. It just has so many questions about who is he? What is he? What is his purpose? Even within his own elvenness, because that's what I think is brilliant about this show, is that we see the hierarchy of the elves. We see the, er the elves are fallible, and they also uphold a lot of things that contradict their own values, like the, the kind of hierarchy that they have. I'm just but a soldier. You know, so which gives me all these different questions, um, existential ones that are complicated by this grief and this loss. So I think the elvenness is like heightened in this season, but in a way that appeals even more to our humanity. You know, I don't know if that makes sense, but I think people will actually find even more closeness to the elves as we grasp as straws, essentially, all the every realm of elves um, just about the same. And lastly, my final question is, what is something about each of your characters that you admire the most or relate to the most? Um, I want to, I want to say like, what I admire about yours. All right. Um, <laughs> go for it. Go for it. <laughs> um, uh, well, we can do that. You want to talk about mine? I'll talk about yours. I, I, yeah, you know, I, I, I love, I love the the coolness with which Gilgalad uh, leads. You know, he has the ability to ch chop heads if he wants to, but there's this sense of mentorship that he has and a very deep commitment to, especially, I mean, we see Elrond and you see Galadriel and they can behave in ways that you just want to kind of yeah, yeah, line yeah, them yeah. up. <laughs> like, uh, you know, both of them, because they're yeah. always going at it. In Go both. to your room. But then the king has to uphold this, and like these, this, these, these responsibilities are so huge, yet he continues to mentor them through their becoming, you know, as, as he's handling so much of himself you know like i'm i'm, I'm a fan oh well i'm gonna fan girl over you a little bit um well, one of the things that's my favorite thing to watch uh, about ismail's work is that there's not a moment that isn't storytelling from how the vocabulary he's created for his stunt work it each little nugget is a little bit of storytelling and it, it, he treats it like I mean, it's almost like a dream ballet from Oklahoma or something. <laughs> that the, the story doesn't stop, now we fight, now the story picks up. 
he's he's carrying the narrative through everything that he does. And also, I love that he is one of the elves. Elrond and Galadriel are in crises, some of which they've brought about on themselves. But what Is is doing is that he is finding his way in Middle Earth in weirdly the most human way that he is experiencing grief, that he has allowed himself to love in spite of how much love he would have lost at this time in his life. Also, he finds himself lost, and you see him carry that. You see him, in spite of that, look after this boy as like a, a pseudo step-parent. Um, and this manifestation of frustrated longing and hope that he has, um, I think is truly unique. And he's, he's a very handsome man, which is helpful. It's true. Yay! <laughs> Yeah, dreaming. He's dreaming. Thank you. That was nice. It was nice to talk about each other. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Thank you both so much for your time and congrats on season two. Thank, Thank you. you.